welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute it's been a few months um with everything being so crazy right now and you know covid and what's going on right now with blm and then i had my own health issues i needed to get situated mentally emotionally physically before i felt better and comfortable enough to sit in front of a camera and talk to everybody about makeup and how I feel about makeup, what's inspiring me, what I'm into right now, all of that goodness. I really needed to take care of me first, so that's what I did, which is now enabling me to sit here and talk to all of you. So, that time Selena collection, round number two. Uh, it's her, the 25th anniversary. We're commemorating the 25th anniversary of her passing. So, let's just jump into it, right? Okay. So, this is the packaging, the unit carton, the box the outside and I freaking love it I love this packaging I love this round if you don't remember what the first one looked like the packaging was like this the iconic kind of like Selena purple get up in there for you um it just had Max Selena on it is it focusing yeah it's icon the iconic purple that she loved but baby this packaging right here, this is it. I prefer this packaging. I will always love this packaging. This is the first of its kind, so it's special and near and dear to my heart. But this right here, this packaging gives me all the feels. This packaging just gives me the tingles inside. Love this packaging. Now, the eyeshadow itself is an eight pan eyeshadow. I don't think you're ready. We well, probably are. We've probably already seen a dozen not hundreds of well not hundreds because i haven't seen a whole lot of it not a lot of the big youtubers did it which i was kind of like really y'all y'all were down for the first one what about the second one patrick star did it and i was i liked his review on it um i lost my train but anyway um this packaging this packaging gives me all this oh that's what it was um it launched online because of COVID. Everyone's stuck in the house. It launched online. However, as the world opens back up again, stores open, malls open, counters um, are shipped this product sometimes a month, sometimes a month in advance for Mac. So they get it, they have it, it's sitting in the back. Um, usually their Mac counters has a certain, a certain area where they store limited edition life or collections and stuff like that. So that's, um, where they always store it so those drawers are always empty so they know exactly where they're going to put their stock for their collections and their limited editions um because mac launches so many things it usually gets smoothed around a lot but that's neither here nor there but the point is is that they get it so when covid shut people down and everything was closed they're sitting on stock so if you didn't couldn't get it online, I've seen several Mac locations uh, go on social media and say that they still have tons of Selena because of COVID. Not only that, you can get it on Macy's. I know still has it, and Macy's also has. I don't know for how long, but they also have the collector's box. It's three hundred dollars. You get the box, you get everything in the makeup bag. Which, in my opinion, the makeup bag they didn't have enough of, but. Honey, I'm just going to make my own and save myself $35. But anyway, this is what the packaging on the inside looks like. This is the packaging I think everyone was expecting in round one. Something like this. This mimicking her famous bustier that she would wear. Look at that. Is that not? It's, it's raised, so there's texture here. You can feel it. But look how pretty that is. Look how Gorgina. That. Oh, this packaging. This packaging gives me all the feels in the world, honey. All the feels in the world. This packaging right here is it. This is this is what we were expecting round one. Now you could have kept this all purple and all of this have been glittered, but not that rough glitter that falls off, that really nasty texture glitter, like nice glitter and kept it in that um, famous, you know, purple jumpsuit that she would wear, which is a different purple than this. But still, as a matter of fact, Suzette actually made sure that this purple was the purple that her sister liked. It's, I forgot Pantone, I forgot what the number is. But this is the exact shade of purple 
that Selena likes. So that has meaning, that has weight when it comes to this. But I think everybody's expecting a little bit more something like this. But they really did it on the second round. When you open her up, esperate un momentico, mira eso. Okay? You have this paper that you'll put here that protects the shadow, right? You're gonna see, I'm a diehard Selena fan. Cup this, uh, you can kind of see through my mirror. Selena displayer, my Selena hat, Selena buttons over here, my people Selena over here, another little displayer, the 25th anniversary. I'm a Selena Junker. You have this guy right here, right? How special is that? You know, that's something you're gonna wanna keep. That's not something that you want to throw away. However, my critique on that is that Dave could have imprinted it on the on the on the mirror here they could have done this here not with the film but just you know had made her picture so it's here and then Max Selena that's still a big enough mirror I mean honestly they could have actually maybe made this a little bit smaller moved it down but I would have liked to see this here because if this opens and I lose this I'm gonna be real pissed that's just my opinion right so the palette is called Me Siento Muy Excited from the movie um this is the eyeshadow pan so you have one two three four five six seven eight right two four six eight right eight eyeshadow pan the colors are te amo my captive heart me siento muy excited como te extraño live in concert it's a texas thing and los dinos is that guy right there so beautiful, beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Um, honestly, to be quite honest, when they first launched it, when they first announced it, I thought it was a cash grab. Uh, Mac hasn't really um, been doing too many exciting things, my opinion. Um, but to kind of ride off the coattails of the first one, and it's, how well it did. Max Lee in the round one was a big, big, big thing for Mac. It was, I think, their highest selling collection to the point where they had to bring it back twice. So I just felt like they weren't really doing anything that great, that exciting. So to, you know, bring in the dinero, let's put Selena back out there. That's my personal opinion. That's how I felt it was. Um, but when Suzette was talking about it, she gave a little bit more backstory, so it made a little bit more sense to me. Um, when she, her, her and Mac got together to do the first one, she did already say, I would like there to be a second one on the 25th anniversary of her passing and make it really special. And they did with this packaging. This packaging is bomb. This, I just, I want to lick it. I just want to lick it. I want it to live in my soul. This is freaking beautiful. Um, so I was kind of like, Okay, I can I can understand that now, right? Um, these shadows, um, especially these four right here, feel like such a departure from what I think Selena would wear. But at the same time, it could be like Selena 2.0. Selena, as she grew through the years and through the decades, if she was still here, her you know people's taste and evolve and it changes. That maybe she would have incorporated these colors into her makeup routine. Um, I was nice to see that there was an injection of color, although we it's not like we were left without color in the first one, because the first one you had the black, you had, um, was it Missy My Baby? Fotos y Recuerdos, you had Selena, you know, is, it, is this a beat? So you had, you had some color play there, right? Which was nice, because that's what actually was found in her makeup bag so that was nice and i like the fact that they continue to, to introduce different colors but to be real to be honest um as i look at pictures that i have of selena it this this and maybe this because this is a little bit like reddish in there so maybe just even these two right here that's the 90s right there do you see that that's 90s i mean tony braxton rocked a very similar look to selena liner not wing liner but just liner lash um a deeper brow um matte face matte red lips it was very similar her album cover even kind of mimicked selena's a little bit she had on blue jeans a leather jacket and a white top hello i'm a prohibido what was selena wearing you couldn't see the bottom although it was probably leather pants but she had a white ruffly dookie shirt here and a leather jacket some hoops bangs 
matte eyes, matte skin, matte red lip. Iconic. That's what she was known for. That's her look. Anybody that you ever see in life moving forward that has a big bang, right? The big bang with some hoop earrings, a red lip, matte face, and some dark liner, you're going to be like, Ooh, you rock it, Selena's look. It's iconic. It's synonymous with her. That's just, it is what it is, right? So I felt like that iconic Selena. This, this I love. The Dazzle shadows are beautiful. Dazzle shadows I like to apply with a synthetic brush and wet. I mean a synthetic brush. I took it out just so I can have it handy. And is it handy for me? No. Why? Because I make a mess of wherever I'm filming. It just is. And now I don't have it to show you. And I specifically pulled it out. Whatever flat synthetic, is this it? This isn't. I, I like to use a MAC 247 flat brush, right? I like to wet it with some Fix Plus. Then I would go in, right? Up and down, up and down. And when you apply it, please don't do this because you're going to flick glitter this way and flick glitter that way and flick glitter this way, right? You want to take it. You want to press it. You're gonna get better payoff and less fallout if you press it. And I like to use a tacky base so the dazzle shadow when I'm placing that in there sticks to it. It gets nice wet and shine. A synthetic brush like this, you wanna pack on your dazzle shadows and you're gonna have amazing payoff and it's gonna look bomb.com. This is nice, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's a Captive Heart, uh, it's a Frost. And I love that, I love that song from Selena, My Captive Heart, it's a, one of her English songs love that so th there's two dazzle shadows there's this one which is makes me more excited and it's a texas thing down here i feel like most people are going to get more use out of theama which is this guy right here it looks great on all skin tones and los dinos i love los dinos los dinos are great um shade to place in the middle like as a blending or transition shade i love it or um if you really want, really want to rock that 90s vibe dust this smoke it out uh blow it out all over the eye super good smudge some of this guy in the lashes and underneath and get like a smoky grungy look and a glossy light lip super pretty i have actually these two underneath my lash line i don't know if you could Kind of see it there but i love it it's a nice little pop of color it adds a little bit more um intrigue to the eye look base and instead of just the basic you know these two guys in here right it gives you a little spice a little hi how are you but that is the eyeshadow palette very nice i like this um i've been using it quite a lot lately especially this color right here in an everyday kind of setting sometimes i'll just do that in the crease Take a little eye gloss on my lid. Lots and lots of lash. Put on some lashes. Oh, and the lashes that I'm wearing, I love these. They're they're called Gala. And they're by Kiss. Good old Walgreens lash, people. You don't need to spend 18, 30 bucks. So it's Kiss and they're called Gala. And I absolutely love them. I love what they do to my eye look. I love what they do to my eyes. I'm here for it, right? So that's the eyeshadow palette. Let's put her down and away. You see, like, I have to go through all of, all of this. I'd rather it just be on the mirror. Next is the highlighter. Again, all the packaging looks like this. The highlighter. I get cute. Mira, I get cute with the pusti caca. It's called La Leyenda, which translates in English to The Legend. Because, hello. She's a freaking legend. I can't, yes. Again, you have this little doohickey here. Love it. And I actually love this picture of Selena. This, because she's wearing the bustier. I love it. It's one of my favorite pics of Selena. Which is my favorite picture of Selena? I, I don't even think I have just one favorite picture of Selena. I have several pictures of Selena around my vanity. Um, I like that one too. Um, she's wearing this leather. Hold on. I don't even know if I could show you this, but it's, it's just a cute little picture. Like, I love that. I love that. She has these little guitar earrings. It's just, she's, she's so damn beautiful and she's so damn cute. I can't stand it sometimes. She's 
was far beyond her years and her taste and in her fashion she was a true icon and it's mimicked now her fashion sense and her style is mimicked so much now when i see other artists like Katy perry gaga christina beyonce like i i see bits of her you know sprinkled out there this is the highlighter it's a extra dimension skin finish look at that and it's this beautiful rose shape <laughs> but if you can tell i've already used it quite a bit i'm already wearing down a petal um so i would like a backup of this but my political views um they support somebody who i or they're if you didn't know estee lauder owns mac so estee lauder um just they support somebody who i don't this I don't, I don't share the same views on. I don't, uh, I just, I don't. And giving money to Mac then gives money to Estee Lauder, which then gives money to this person who I just, I don't believe. Anyway, so I have to pray about it is to see if this is something that I actually want to put more money back into. I didn't know it at the time before the tea got spilled when this came out. So this was purchased. Now it's got me rethinking things because there are certain, certain, uh, a couple of items in this collection that I really want backups of, i.e. this and this color. We'll get to it. Um, but that's the skin finish. Um, when you use any type of extra dimension skin finish, it just it hugs the skin. Look at that glow. You see that? That shift right there? This? That's that highlighter. The nose, all that. My skin looks um luminized it looks glowy it's this guy i love extra um extra dimension skin finishes for that i mean i have a lot of texture in my skin i just do so you know it brings forth a lot of things that i don't like but i can't help it i just want to highlighter all the time i love the whole glowy wet skin looking thing right but um what i like to do is spray my fix plus Urban Decay Primer, Morphe, whatever it is. Um, I happen, I like the old school. I don't have oily skin, but this is the only uh, makeup setting spray I have right now is the Oil Control D Slick. I like the old, this I like these bottles because of the spray. It gives you a fine mist, but I like my skin to be wet when I apply it. I like it wet. I like to feel like it's hydrating, it's wet. The primer that I like to use and you can tell I've used quite a bit of it, is Selfie Serum. And I really like it. It's super hydrating. I have really dehydrated skin. So doing that de-slick right now, I'm only doing it for filming, really can dry out my skin. I need that oil. I need that sebum, which I don't produce a lot. But this is super hydrating. There's no oil. It's paraben-free. Um, it's just, it's waterfall. It's, it's lightweight serum. It hydrates has hyaluronic acid in it, it has these beautiful gold reflects in it. It's just, oh, my skin soaks it up and I absolutely love it. And it makes my skin feel better and look better when I wear makeup with it. So I like that, love the selfie serum. Anyway, um, so I like to spray my um, face with my uh, finishing spray and I'll spray my brush too. This is a MAC 224. I'll go in to actually mention just as it started to dry down, I'll go in and buff it in real quickly because it melts into the skin a lot better and you're gonna get a better payoff when you do that. It looks better when it's melted into the skin versus just sitting on top of the skin. Okay. So um, I didn't get any of the lip glosses, so I'm just gonna tell you now, I didn't get any of the lip glosses. Um, they relaunched Bitty Bitty Bum Bum. I have six of those from the first collection. So for me, I didn't need to get Bitty 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 bum bum this round the packaging is different it looks just like a dazzle glass like the the packaging for dazzle glasses so here it looks like this with a different color top didn't need bitty bitty bum bum because again i have six tubes of that stuff right now they had hey dad pizza which was so cute i love the names and names were like genius but it was a very bronzy slightly gold but very bronzy dazzle glass looking lip gloss um i saw it i wasn't wowed by it i wasn't be like oh my god i need that in my collection a part of me is just like i want it because it's the selena collection i'd like to have it in its entirety so 
um, but I didn't feel like that was something I needed, so I didn't get it. And I'm, am I missing it? No, I'm missing it from the standpoint that I feel like my collection isn't complete and that bothers me, but I didn't want to put money into something that I'm really not gonna use. And I wasn't gonna use it, to be quite honest. The other lip gloss, because there was three, was the washing machine. Iconic, how is that not iconic? Super iconic, all right? But it looks just like this. I have this, and I have one of something like this from the Marilyn Monroe collection that Mac launched eons ago because I'm old and I'm a dinosaur and I walk the earth still, right? But it looks just like this, so I didn't need it. I, I couldn't justify myself purchasing it, right? So, no. And be quite honest, it was a, this was like an early birthday present for my mom because my mom's amazing. You know that I absolutely love Selena. So she was like, I know my baby's got to have it. So shout out to Mama Dukes for my early birthday present. Some things she purchased, some things I purchased. It was a collaboration. Now there was two lip pencils. Again, when I saw it, I was like, I love MAC lip pencils. But I was like, it's a red and a nude. How many reds and nude lip liners did I need? Wrong. I needed this. So when I got it, super happy that I purchased it because I really really like this red pencil so that's what it looks like that's the packaging this is called Selenaville it's a nice red let me swatch it real quick it's a nice red my favorite red lip pencil is follow uh follow your heart or follow my heart follow your heart something like that from mac is this it right here no I have it somewhere I have so many red lip liners, it's disgusting. Anyway, no, that's right. I picked up every other red lip, MAC red lip liner other than the one that I was looking for. It's, they don't, they no longer make it. I have about four of them and I rarely use it because MAC doesn't make it anymore. And to me, that was the best red lip liner they made. Now, my person, you know, Ruby Woo is like their iconic retro matte, dry as all shit lipstick, but it stays and it lasts freaking forever. The way to really wear Ruby Woo is really hydrate your lips first. They're nice and smooth. Lip scrub. What I would do when I wear Ruby Woo's uh, lip scrub, okay, I use my um, Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Silva Stick. It hydrates lips, cuticles, rough patches. So I have a couple of these. This is tricky for my lips. I have one for rough patches and I have one for my cuticles because oh, you only use it all over the place, right? Not nasty. So I have one for each and I really like this. It's super hydrating. So how I use it is when I'm doing my makeup, but I know that Ruby Woo is what I'm going to wear. As I'm filling in my eyebrows, I'll do a lip scrub and I'll, I'll leave it on just to penetrate because the lip scrubs have all these, you know, vitamin E and oils and all that stuff like that. So as I'm scrubbing it, I want that moisture to seep into my lips. Then I'll wash it off, right? After my brows are done, I'll wash it off. And then immediately I'll put a good layer of this guy on. And by the time I'm done with my makeup and I get to my lips, I'll blot off whatever extra is on there. But for the most part, it's all seeped into my lips. So my lips are soft, they're hydrated. I dry it off, it takes off all the excess oil, right? And that's what's left is it's a really hydrated, soft, smoothed out lip. So when I put on Ruby Woo, it doesn't feel like I'm tugging at all of it, right? And to me that lasts longer. And then they have the lip pencil Ruby Woo to match. Ruby Woo the lip pencil and Ruby Woo the lipstick are not equal. I'm sorry. You could tell me that they are as long as the day is long, but when you swatch that lip pencil and then you swatch Ruby with the lipstick, there is a color difference, okay? And when I put Ruby with the lipstick, it just, it doesn't. So I would always use Follow My Heart. I love Cherry. Um, cherry lip liner is a great lip liner. I do not like Ruby with lip liner. I don't, I don't think they're created equal, but that was a side note and we completely sidetracked, but that's my two cents. Then I we have the other Selena lip pencil called Entre a mi mundo, which is named after a song and an album of hers. Um, if you're not, if you don't recall what the album cover looked like, she's in a she has her hands up like this, and she's in a a, a leather jacket that has sleeves that have white and um, black stripes, and her hair is like this, and it's Entre a mi mundo. Is that Entre a mi mundo? No, I totally lie to you. I'm sorry, let me get myself together. If I'm not mistaken, Entre a Mi, is that Entre a Mi Mundo? Or Entre a Mi Mundo was when she had like the short spikier hair and she turned this way and it's all like 
black, uh, like black and white photography, but it's like darker black and gray. <gasps> Shame on me for not knowing this. Shame on me for not knowing this. I can't remember. But um, Entre Mi Movie is named after her album and song. And that's, can you see that? Can you see that? That color. It's a really nice nude. And when I looked at it, I was like, if I have dervish or subculture or boldly bare, hmm, sword be too pink, world would be too deep. Dervish a little bit too pinky because it's on the peachy or orangey side. So I was like, okay, let me give it a go. And it turns out, I love it. I love the color. I really do. Um, it's a little bit more like a deeper brown, a deeper peachier brown on me. And I'm okay with that. I love it. There's a little bit of rose in there on my skin tone. But I love it. It's a great nude. I don't like nude that much. But I like this. That I like. Now, I'm missing one lipstick. I can't remember what lipstick I'm missing, but I pretty much have all the lipsticks. I have all the liquid lipsticks. When I saw that there were liquid lipsticks launching with this collection, honey, I got so excited, I almost peed myself. I was hyped. I was geeked. I was like, liquid lipsticks are my favorite formula of lipstick. They stay on. I don't need, I put a lip liner with this, but I don't need a lip liner. Um, the, the the way that the tip is, the way that they make their Retromac liquid lipsticks, it tips to the liquid lipsticks. It's perfect to do lip liner first, like line your lips with the liquid lipstick and then fill in and you've got a perfect crisp line. Honey, yes to the liquid lipstick. Liquid lipsticks are my favorite and I love MAC liquid lipsticks. They're a little bit more expensive where I can get a $6 liquid lipstick from ColourPop. I'm, I'm saying and ColourPop is damn good too, but... We're gonna move on from that. So these, this is uh, <laughs> the unit carton for the lipstick. Again, same continuity with the packaging. It's called Queen of Cumbia. Love the names, love the names. It is, oh. and as soon as I open it, that's what I, that's one thing I really like about MAC lipsticks is the vanilla smell. I love vanilla. So if you don't like vanilla, it may be a little bit of a turn off, but literally, I could just sit here and smell MAC lipsticks. They smell good when they're fresh, but when they turn, when MAC lipsticks turn and they're old and they're rancid, it smells like the nastiest left out old molded Play-Doh. <clears throat> but when you first get it, oh, that vanilla, I love it. So this is uh, Queen of Columbia. I hate, I don't, what, Women, please don't turn your lipstick all the way up and go like this. You're going to break your bullet. You're going to break your lipstick. There's no point in doing all of that. You don't need all of it anyway. You're not using all of that. Keep keep your lipstick stay safe and, and, and <laughs> sanitary, one and two. You're not going to break it. You put too much pressure. Anyway, look at that. Is that not... Hold on. Oh, I just dropped the cap. It has a rose etched into the lipstick. Come on, why aren't you focusing? Focus. Oh, oh, get cute, right? Get cute. I thought that was such a special touch to it. I don't want to use the lipstick because you can already tell because I've already worn it. You see where it's coming right up on the edge of the etched petal and I'm like, no, I don't want to use it. So I might use it from the side or from the back. I would have liked it if they would have copied the rose, also did it on the back, but that may have compromised the structure of the bullet. I'm not sure. It's not too deep, so I don't see where it would, but I like the fact that there's a rose on there. I think that's a special touch. I think that was really nice and a smart move. So this is a matte. It's a matte that has a frostiness to it, but it's a matte, not a retro matte, but a matte. It's cr it's a creamy matte, but because of that shine, it really it it's it's nice. It's not your ordinary matte, and I like that. Maybe if I swatched it on my fingertip, you can see it better. Mm, maybe not. Anyway, I'll insert like a picture of me wearing it on my lips. 
I'll insert it some either here, 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 somewhere in this video. You'll see another one. You'll see um, a picture of it. So that's Queen of Cumbia. I dropped the cap, so I'm not going to get it now. Rainbow toes. Okay. So. That's Queen of Cumbia. Now we have Inolvidable. I'll repeat that again. Inolvidable. I speak Spanglish. Bad Puerto Rican. Unforgettable. Inolvidable. Se me olvidó is, I forgot. Inolvidable. I think it's unforgettable in Spanish. Don't quote me. This one is a frost. Is it a frost? <sighs> Mac. And the way that they make it. Yeah, it's a frost lipstick. It's a nice peachy lipstick. Again, has the rose. A beautiful vanilla smell that I freaking love. Now, with a frost. Unfortunately, there is an unfortunately. Again, some of here, 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 here. You'll see a picture of my lips with this on. Now, here's the thing with me and frost. This is a beautiful peachy frost. I actually have this really nice, pretty white um, dress that has flowers that are mm, that color. That's gonna be really nice with it. And I can't wait. Um, what I like to do is take Entre a mi Mundo, line my lip with it first, then go over it with Inovidable because Inovidable, I can feel the grit. I feel the grit of the glitter that's in there and I hate that. I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I can feel it and it sucks. And it's like, I don't want to feel the grit of the glitter. Like if that's the case, you need to make finer glitter, but... It's not something that's going to completely turn me off from wearing it, if that makes sense. Um, the last lipstick, because there's enough. I don't remember the name of the last lipstick. I mean, I don't have that one, but I kind of want to get that one. This is called Selena Vive. Selena lives. Because she does. She lives, as always. I love G4. I get a high off of it. Absolutely love it. Um, again, with the etched rose. I feel like the color balance is off in here. Let's see. This does that help you guys see the color better? I'm gonna do it on my side. I'm gonna do it right here. It's a nice nude, right? It, it's like a straight, straight peach with a touch of rose. I don't like, I'm not a big nude fan. And I say that and then I end up having a lot of new lipsticks, right? But I prefer color. I like color on my skin tone. I like color on me. I just like color. But this is a beautiful nude. Beautiful nude. That with Entre a Mi Mundo and this. You can, and what was this? This is a cream sheen, I think it is. This is a cream sheen. So, I'm going to give you guys a little tip. Any lipstick that is moisturizing or creamy. So, MAC Lusters, MAC Cream Sheens, and sometimes even MAC Frosts, MAC Glazes, Glaze Lipsticks. They don't make a whole lot of them. They still have a, some. Not a whole lot because they're we're phasing those out. Um, but... Anything like creamy like that, that's super creamy or super moisturizing, ladies. I'm gonna give you a tip. Do not bring this in your makeup bag, in your purse, because that's gonna be in a makeup bag, in a purse, next to your body heat, out in the sun, in your hot car, okay? And some women like to keep their makeup bags or makeup in the car, disgusting, one. You're going to breed bacteria, ugh, right? You're going to screw up your makeup. If you ever go to the MAC counter, you can see some lipsticks are dogged out. Um, they're supposed to replace them, but sometimes that's a little costly, okay? It's a little expensive. And not just MAC, other makeup counters too, especially if they're very creamy and very soft lipsticks. You usually see them kind of bent 
push back a little and they do surgery they clean out the bottom try to reattach them and all that stuff like that and it looked as gross and heinous and nasty and crusty dusty musty no we don't like that right so don't don't do that don't leave it the heat is going to warm up this product and it has a lot of emollients um, things in it to make it hydrating to make it creamy right so you don't want to heat that up baby okay no just like when you leave your lotion out someplace warm and you squeeze it all liquefies and it spills you gotta throw it in the refrigerator for it to become solid again so when you squeeze it out it looks like regular lotion instead of just like icky out like like watery crap right same thing kind of happens because all the emollients see that's in here when you heat it up it comes like mush so when you go to use it it's gonna break it's gonna deform it's gonna break back and then women come to the counter it's like look at this lipstick tin why did it do that i just bought this it's because you put it someplace where you weren't supposed to put it in your car in your bag don't do that so what i like to do knowing that i'm wearing that type of lipstick like this is your stuff right this is your your makeup this is your property you know you should know how to use it you should know how to care for it just like anything people care for shoes they care for jewelry you need to care for your makeup too you're putting that on your face right so what i like to do knowing that i'm wearing this lipstick and i have to go out and i might need to do a touch-up this is my favorite mac lip brush is a 316 what i do is i load up my brush right once this is loaded, full of that lipstick, I put it in here. Don't do the, I hate the retractable lip pencil from MAC because it has a little weckle, it has a little hole, and all the crud and nastiness from your purse gets in there. So when you take out your lip brush to use it, you got all these crumbs and nasty little bits all over it. I like this because once I close it, you're not getting in this thing. Fort Knox in this thing, okay? Fort Knox in this, and I like it because it's keeping my lip brush clean sanitized okay and if i know that i'm going to go eat i'm going to reapply and then i might go out to have a drink i might go to the movie popcorn i'm going to need to reapply again i'll take two of these so these go in my makeup bag my, my, my go with me in my makeup bag and my purse and my beautiful lipstick is going to stay my beautiful whole solid lipstick because this buddy is staying at home nice and safe and sound especially i've done that too many times where i have a limited edition item and i'm wearing it yes take it with me put it in my purse when i go when i used to club i'm too old for that now but when i go out or whatever and then i end up losing it i'm so pissed i'm like a dragon lady i'm inconsolable because especially if i can't find it anymore and there was a oh, i just I, it kills me i don't like it it makes i go crazy so i don't and i love selena why would i want to lose this no stays home load up my lip brush this goes with me if this goes missing it'll suck but i can get another one you feel me i can't get another one of those once they're gone i can get another one of these so that's a little tip just you know load up your lip brush now we're gonna talk about liquid lipsticks and i'm so excited there were three that came out in this collection again what the packaging looks like um i'm we'll start with uh no i'm gonna say that one for last because that one's my favorite <laughs> my favorite this is called big bertha big bertha was the name of the tour bus that was for selena y los dinos and then selena even though she still had dinos so to speak somewhat they describe this as a dusty rose dusty rose my naga okay this is like a when, you, when i look at it it's a little pink it's a little brown it's a little mauvey to me i mean it's gonna turn out more mauve more purple in it that's okay because i don't mind that not so much a dusty rose it has vanilla but it also has a weirder smell it's not off-putting but it just it smells different than lipsticks look at that applicator you see that applicator now you will notice i don't know if you can you see how in the middle there's much more product than what's on the sides right same thing in the back there's like a little well in here that holds product you could do your entire lip without redunking just what's on here and then you flip it over literally so when you do it because you see that tip how it's fatter down here and then it tapers up it's perfect for lining your lip take your pinky you rest it here you draw your desire to i like to over listen i have a voluminous vol voluminous bottom lip and a weak ass top lip so this is overdrawn like my lip actually is like here 
It's over John slightly, but it's enough to give more volume. So you're gonna rest in here, right? Oh, did I get lipstick on me? I sure did. I'm such a klutz, right? And then you turn it on its side. Here, other side, here. Then you take it in the middle, right? Still with the same one with the same sign. Cut back and do that one. Flip it over so you use the other side of it. Fill it in, fill it in, and then what I do, equalize everything. Then if I really need to, which I hardly ever have to, I'll dunk back in, but I really don't have to do that. Because of the way that this is designed, it's damn freaking beautiful. Because you have all this product that sits in this little well right here. Love it. Anyway, that's Big Bertha. Oh, let me swatch it for you. See where it's deeper? It has a little bit more purpley on my skin tone. But it's beautiful. I love it. It's, uh, and like, th this is my kind of nude. A darker nude. A more rich and opaque nude. That's what I like. Um, like, inolvidable. And Selena Beaver are lighter, creamier nudes, which are nice. But give me this. Mac had this beautiful, like, 90s brown retro matte lip and lipstick when they first originally launched called Coco Tees. Mac, could we bring that back out, please? That was the most beautiful brown liquid lipstick I've ever owned and have ever found. And you guys decided to say, no, never mind. We're not going to. I mean, it also depends on if it sold well or not, which it did. Like, what are you talking about? It was, it was just this beautiful. That's chocolate brown, baby. Be Can we bring back Choco Teas? Taking away the good stuff. Anyway, that was Big Bertha. This one is Dame Un Beso. Dame un beso. Um, I love the fact that they brought this name. It's I love that song. That's Selena's song. I love it. Look at this color. Do we see this color? Look at that. Oh, oh. pink's my favorite color, and I like this because it's a it's a deeper pink. It's not a light pink. We've done the light pinks, okay? Mac, we've done it, right? It's not as uh, fuchsia or purpley as like Girl About Town, but it's not as pink as full fuchsia. If I'm remembering my MAC lipsticks correctly. It's different than Taylor to Tease. See, that has way more purple in it. See that? That's different. It's different than Slipper Orchid, if you were to have that, they no longer make this color, but it's different than that. I just had that. Where are my other pink ones? It's different than Personal Statement, which I don't think they make that one anymore either. And it's different than Too Matte with Love. So there's a little comparison there. Let me swatch this one for you guys. <sighs> to me, it's like a raspberry, but it's more pink than a raspberry. But look at that. Oh, it's so rich and pink and beautiful. I love it. That made me so that was like the first liquid lipstick that I put in my cart. Now the last one, this last liquid lipstick is the one that I'm wearing. Let's take a look. I love red lipstick. Red lipstick is my jam. It's my favorite lipstick to wear. I feel very fiery, very sexy, very confident, very powerful in a red lip. I love red lips. Not all red lips are created equal. Don't let anybody tell you that because they're different. There's yellow reds there's orange reds tomatoes reds blue reds pink reds red red there's a lot of reds honey there's a lot of reds 
and I love red lipstick. I do not like yellow reds, not my favorite. Orange reds, it's gotta be a bomb ass orange red. Blue reds are my favorite reds. It's like red reds, you know? Um, what is this? Oh, Tarashi. Okay, moving on from that. This one is called Siempre Selena. Simply Selena, or Always Selena. But a Siempre for Always, Always Selena. You always have to try it on because sometimes what is here, how it looks here, is not how it's going to look here. And I was like, I was still okay with this being like a brighter red. Look at that. That deep red. I want a neon red liquid lipstick. If any of you guys know like a really, really bright, like almost neon red liquid lipstick, leave it in, down below. Holla at me. Let me know what it is because that's kind of what I'm looking for now. What a nice boom red like my lips are rounding the corner before i am and you see my red lipstick kind of red lipstick um but look at that siempre selena so oh sorry that's what the, the tubing the packaging looks like just as a reference so here's siempre selena this is feel so grand feel so grand was my favorite and my other favorite was color pops uh times i love sarai arriba that red lipstick, that liquid lipstick. <sighs> that was my jam. They don't sell it anymore, I don't think. They've retired it, ColourPop. And I kept saying, I need to get another backup. I need to get another backup. And I did it, and now they don't have it. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's it's way back there. But that was my favorite red. Um, I loved wearing that red. It was bright. It was bold. It was rich. It was beautiful. And I was like, I was here for it as long as the day is long. Okay, so here's my other favorite retro matte liquid lipstick, which is Feel So Grand. Feel So Grand is slightly more, when you look at it compared to this, it's a little bit more orangey, a little brighter. This is now my new favorite red lipstick. So I'm... I want another one, but then my political views, I don't know. <sighs> but this red lipstick is everything. I also liked, uh, I also for a while before I found Arriba, was liking um, ABH's um, American Doll. Mm, it's really blue, like a really blue red. And my lips looked like velvet petals and I loved it. So there that is. And I'm not going to insert a picture because you can see it here. You know what I mean? If I don't insert the pictures, um, go to my Instagram, lipstickjunkie82, and I will have swatches and or lip pictures of it up there if I don't remember to put it anywhere around here. Um, but that's what I got from the collection, guys. I didn't... Um, it was... A nice size collection, it wasn't too small, it wasn't too big, it was really nice. Um, what I would like to see if they did a third collection, right? And what would the justification be for the third? Let's see here. Um, it could be, you know, Mac Time Selena just for the fans, and it kind of be like a, I don't know. Like, Selena 2020, what she would go. I would like to know what kind of lashes that she might be into. Because, you know, everyone who does their makeup celebrity-wise, they all, you know, they wear fake lashes. Give me a Selena lash. I would love to see what Suzette would cultivate or make or project, if, you know, like, oh, I think my sister would go this route in her makeup or in her fashion like this is the way i think that she would the path that she will have followed and i would love to see maybe lashes or selling a brow pencil or how you think selena may have you know, done her brows and you know um that would have been nice i would have liked that mm -hmm. um a selena matte highlighting powder because she did do a little bit of highlighting there here but seeing this i mean it looked like she never wore anything but she did you could you know she knows she wore makeup actually there's like um 
I don't know, something something different. I want to see, you know, Selena 2020. Um, they used to, um, Selena used to call her sister and her friends and her cousins. And unfortunately, Yolanda. <coughs> Pardon me. That trifling hell. No, they used to call each other Buffy. Buffy. Cute name for a lipstick. Although I could see why maybe they wouldn't want to do that. Um, I don't know. I see something more. More personal. Like, personal, but like... Like, personal, personal with that being disrespectful, I guess. I don't know. Um... I love the lipsticks. I would have liked to see Amor Prohibido, which is a glaze from a glaze lipstick from the first collection. I would have loved to see that maybe as a liquid lipstick. Mm, that would have been bomb. But those that's the Max Selena collection, round two. I'd love to know what you guys uh think about it how you feel did you get the collection did you not get the collection what did you love from it what did you want to see different i'd love to see those uh what you think i'd love to see those in the comments um if you have any questions please ask them down there and please keep the comments respectful um i want us to have healthy discussions and debates and our you know voice our qualms about things and and rejoice in the good things and let's keep it classy not trashy let's Let's keep it adult. Um, we're adults. We can have conversations. But um, other than that, it's been great being able to sit in front of this uh, camera and talk to you guys and kind of share my love for the things that I've bought and while I've not been making videos. Um, with that being said, smooches. I love you guys. Um, again, my Instagram is lipstickjunkie82. Holla at me later. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.